Hello everyone, hope you all are doing fine and today I am going to do some refactoring because our code should be organized. Ok, in this video I am going to introduce a class for the shader. Ok, let's start. First, we need to create a class for the shader. I name it as model shader. Then we need to add functions for the model shader class. First I am adding constructor and destructor. And then I am adding private member for shade id and then we need to implement those functions let's create those functions in the cpp file ok before that i am going to put our shader sources into separate text files then it will be much easier to modify later and also our code will be much cleaner and easy to understand so i create two text files for the vertex shader and the fragment shader then I copied shader sources to those files okay now let's continue with implementing our shader class constructor here I am going to copy our existing shader creation code from the 3d renderer cpp file okay then I need to modify the code to match with the model shader class first I need to change shader variable to m shade id member variable and then I need to include GL headers in order to use OpenGL functions. Then I need to write a new function to load shader sources from text files. Okay, I am going to put the shader loading function in the model shader header file. Function returns a char pointer to the shader source and we should pass shader file name as a parameter. Okay, then we need to create it in the cpp file. Ok, here I open the file using ifstream class and then I use seekg and tellg functions to get the file size and then I create char buffer for that size and then call read function to copy the content of the file to that char buffer and then finally return the buffer. Ok, then we need to add function to use the shader. Also we need functions to add projection matrix, view matrix and model matrix ok let's implement these functions in the source file ok let's copy some code from the 3d renderer cpp file i delete this shader source because we don't need them here anymore and uh, shader creation code also not required what we need is the code used to get those matrix locations ok here is the code to get the projection matrix location and i want to move that code to the model shader class ok now i want the code that is used to set the projection matrix and the same thing should be done to the view matrix and to the model matrix Ok, then I move gl use program function call to the use function of the model shader and then I change shader variable to m shade id member variable. Ok, what else we need to do? Ok, we can delete the shader program inside the destructor. It was created inside the constructor and it should be deleted inside the destructor ok i think that's all for the shader class let's try to use it ok now we need to use the model shader class inside the 3d renderer cpp file let's check what we need to do here ok this code should be deleted long ago and let's create the model shader object after the opengl context creation we also need to include the header file ok and then after the gl clear function we can set our matrices projection view and the model uh, and then after the gl clear function we can use the shader by calling use function ok now i think uh, we are done with the coding and now it's time for the testing let's try to run it okay as you can see our 
model is rendering properly so our shader is working okay thanks for watching and please subscribe